Wait, so okay, you guys asked what his type is, but what's y'all's type for a partner? Uh, well, they have to be ambitious. I love to be with a very ambitious man that can also support me and my girls, can also be a loving person and just like overall nice and, you know, like minimally attractive. Minimally <laughs> attractive. Yes. Okay. And you said you want a guy who's ambitious, successful, so he can support you, support your, your you said you had two girls, right? Yeah. We will, well, I would love to like support each other. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. My girls are, are like, they're like grown, one of them just recently applied for UC, like um, Berkeley, I think. I was reading her apps and I hope she gets it, honestly. Did she, did she apply for UCSB? I don't know, to be quite honest. I just know she wants oh, okay. to go to Berkeley. Oh, Berkeley's kind of Yeah, trash, she's really smart. Okay. She wants to, what? It's like, isn't just it saying. like one of the top public schools in California? I mean, it's kind of trash, but don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's great, she'll, <laughs> she'll do good. But, um, and you said they're both, both your daughters are like about to go to college or in college? Well, one of them um, already graduated college, the other one is about to go to college. Wait, I mean, she, was she already, no, she went to like a community college. She's just applying for, um, I think she's just transferring. Okay. Yeah. But I would just love to have a man that would like support all three of us. I mean, but I would still work. And you'd, you'd still do OnlyFans? Yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, I would just love to do as much as you can. And then like, you know, route to another like occupation, like real estate, or I'm still practicing day trading and yeah. Okay. So your, have you ever, do, do your two daughters know you, I assume they know you do OnlyFans? Yes, they are grown. Would you push them to do OnlyFans? I would not push them to do anything. Okay. Would you be against if, them? If they came to you and they said, no. <laughs> but if they came to you and they're like, hey mom, we want to start an OnlyFans, like, would you be like, fucking go for it or would you be like eh, um, eh. I would just ask them questions like oh like who you're going to be doing content with who are your friends going to be just make sure you use like um, an alias name etc just I just care more about their safety I mean like they're also like influencers as well but um, I just really care more about their safety and I already taught them that and they're very responsible girls. Okay. I love them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're so all cute. I'm very fucking crying. I keep talking about it. I'm sorry. Aww. Aww. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> your type. What's your type? <laughs> Uh, I love short kings. Like, oh, stop, dude, stop short the cat. King. Stop no. the cat. <laughs> you should look at Peter. He's like Peter? five six. Peter? I, I'm I'm five nine. So yeah, the married guy, that my assistant. Oh, the, yeah. Okay, I should look at him. Yeah, he's he's a short king. Okay. And there's short king. been a correlation between like good dick game and being short. So. Oh. Okay. All right. So short kings. That's your type. All right. Oh. Um, I just want someone who can be my best friend. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter how much money they make. I just want someone at the end of the day that I can talk to about whatever I'm feeling. It could either be about the most Sounds like a therapist. I mean, they are. Just get a therapist. No, that costs money. Are you serious? <laughs> Why do I talk? Why don't you talk to a therapist when I could talk to a man and unleash all my problems onto him instead for free? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm single. <laughs> But again, I just want someone with like a nice sense of humor um, and overall like just, I don't know, morally good person. That's all I can ask for. I'm not really picky. Just be funny. Make me laugh. That's it. Oh, okay. My turn? Okay. <laughs> um, I like shy golden retriever gamer boys because I play a lot of video games and I need a person that's going to rage with me when we, you know, lose games together. Um, Cause okay. like, here's the thing, like gamer boys, like they got some nice fingers. It's, it's very, you know, Fox. very dexterous. <laughs> they got that words per minute, the fucking micro. Oh yeah. Like boom, boom, boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you want a gamer guy? Yeah, I like gamer boys. 
I know someone. Oh. Can I tell you a bit about him? Yeah. All right. So he's he's in the top North American hardcore raiding guild in World of Warcraft Classic. Wow. Like top, I think it's top 10. Um, he's got four 60s. He mains a rogue. He's got an alt warrior. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Jason? <laughs> um, and then he also alts warlock and mage. Yeah. And on Warcraft logs, he parses in the 99th percentile. Um, so all pink parses. All pink parses. The entire guild, and his hard, hardcore raiding guild, right? So full consumes, full world buffs. You know, they're doing best in slot for all their gear. Summoning alts. Gamers. Wow, that's Gamers. impressive. Yeah. And they fucking ran their server back during, uh, like, fresh vanilla. Oh. You know? Mm. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. I think you like, lost her at World of Warcraft. Here. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, like, okay, he was like, they were his, sir, uh, sorry, the guild, like, first to clear Molten Core, first to clear BWL, first to clear AQ40, first to clear Nax, speedrunners, too. Wow, he speedruns? Speedruns. Yeah. Dude, speedrunners are amazing. And they have the world bosses on farm. Azur, Ghost, and Nashara. Does well, he like stream all of this for all of the other He doesn't players? stream. He doesn't stream. He's just <gasps> like, he's a sweaty gamer. Oh, he's just like anonymous, anonymously just getting like the top parses. Top parses, yep. M mad respect. Like grinding is a lot of work. Um, I play Final Fantasy XIV, the critically acclaimed MMORPG. Okay. RG, um, RPG. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of grinding. And like, you know, you kind of have to like be careful with timing, you know, main all the roles, know what everyone's doing. It's a lot of teamwork too. So like, mad respect, like like people who raid specifically, like I wish that you could put raiding on your resume. Like, it's, it's good stuff. Especially the leadership in guilds and shit. That's like a full-time job. Oh, hell yeah. The yeah. organization to have like 40 or 25 or, you know, people every week show up. It's, it's tough. Yeah, it's, it's tough. like a part-time job, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what, <laughs> what's your type? Um, a guy who is willing to try. So like, okay, he may not be fit, but he tries his best to be healthy and you know take care of himself. So let's say I'm really into Overwatch. I would like him to try play Overwatch with me. You know, willing to try. Okay, so we got some gamer girls here. All right. Um, I like nerdy guys too, and, and I have to agree that I love short kings. Um, I feel like that's where the confidence is. With How tall kings. are you though? I'm 5'9 as well. You're 5'9? Mm. Yeah, I feel like there's a correlation between like tall queens and short kings. It's like, I, I agree. We're made for each other. Tall queens and short kings. Okay, got it. Um, I like someone with kind eyes. Someone has like really good dad qualities. <laughs> Um, let's see. I will also a little closer to the mic. I will also add a point to the short kings and the gamer boys. Gamer boys, finger game, top tier, <laughs> S tier, and yeah. short kings. I'm a short queen, so uh, <laughs> it, anyone taller than six foot is a little too hard to do the mattress mamba with. You know, it's like it's too difficult. <laughs> Are Jason, just, are y'all just saying this stuff? No, no, no I'm honest. Huh? I, I'm like five eight. In, in you know, eight, not everyone nine. is looking for a guy that's over six feet. Mm. And, you know, yeah, yeah most, that's true. Most women are. I know, but most girls most don't want a guy are. that's shorter than them. Typically, yeah. Oh, most no. women don't want a guy shorter than. Them. I had a guy shorter like than me. Oh. Oh, sorry. oh, sorry. I had a guy shorter than me that broke my heart. Damn. Like I was in love with him. He broke my heart. He was two inches shorter than me. Starcraft player. No, League of Legends player. Oh, League of Legends. Ribbon main. It's always the League of Legends oh. player. I actually think most guys don't want a girl who's taller than them. I feel yeah. like men have more of a height preference than women do. do you no agree? way. Do you agree? No way. Yeah. Men are tall girls. I don't know. I don't know a lot of men that would date a woman who's taller than them. Honestly. Right here. Really? I, I date a woman who's taller than me. My preference is shorter than me. That's right. But it's not like for a lot of women, it's 100% no go if they're shorter. For a lot of women, they want a guy who's at least taller than them, and you often hear six foot up. That's just a reason. Maybe you guys are outliers. I'm probably an outlier. Are above. you girls more into Asian guys, or do you like you guys have a type? Yeah, do you guys have a racial preference? I, I prefer Asian guys. Asian guys. Um, Anybody else? Oh. 
All I, my serious relationships have always been Asian guys. Mm-hmm. I like any type. I don't have no type. Anyone Wait. slide in my DMs. <laughs> okay, but so hold on. You you think that men have a, a greater height preference than women do? I just do. think it's not as talked about, yeah, because like I, I feel like I don't know, like I just feel like I've heard a lot of men say that they would not date a woman who's taller than them. Or that it's not their preference. When I was a kid, I grew way taller than everyone else. Like I was five seven by the time I was like twelve. And no one ever gave me a Valentine, and like, I don't know, yeah, did not like me when I was Aww. taller than them. She's my Valentine now. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, is that most men are taller than most women, so, like, for a guy to say he wouldn't, like, the, the amount of men that can say, I wouldn't date a woman who's taller than me, there's not a lot of women who are taller than men. Whereas you often hear a lot of women say, well, okay, if I'm wearing heels, I wanna be taller than the guy in heels, so then that adds two to three inches. But overwhelmingly, when it comes to height, women for sure, that's, that's for sure a primary preference for women. Men, we don't give a fuck. Uh, give me a six seven woman. Give me a 4'11 woman too. Legally a midget. Do you guys know any dwarves, by the way? I'm asking for a friend. No, any what? A dwarf. I'm I like, might. Like 4'11 type? Like well, like... Shorter than short 4'11? Or, or actually a little person. Oh. I'm down. I'm looking. If you guys know... I'll keep my eyes open. I'll keep my eyes open for you, dude. In Vegas? In Vegas, okay. she had um, a midget Lady Gaga at her friend's party. So I can ask her contacts. I don't know if I want a dwarf in the entertainment industry, though. Mm, why I want, not? I want like a rare, <laughs> a rare dwarf. A regular, oh, okay. a regular. <laughs> don't knock until you try it. Right. Are you still talking about WoW? I'm gonna get canceled. I think so. Yeah. So, would you want anyone in the dating era in the entertainment industry? Um, I I don't know why I wouldn't. I I would date a dwarf in the under, entertainment industry. Sure. What about in general? Like any woman in the date in the entertainment industry? Um. I'd, I'd say it's fine. It, it, I'm not really pressed so much on that. Would I rather date like a, ch- a girl who is in STEM or something? Probably. But like if she's a f- fellow, I don't know, YouTubers are, I'm speaking from self experience. Mm-hmm. I don't know, just if you're in social media, it's just kind of like, there's a little something wrong with you. <laughs> Could be a both. little something. I mean, That's I'm fair. speaking for myself. You know, That's fair. Bit, but. That's a mood. So would it matter if like your girl wanted to make like a couple mil a year? Are you talking about? Are we going to talk about OnlyFans now? Yeah, like I don't know. You, would you let your girl do OnlyFans if it may, meant a, mil, a couple mil a year, or does it not not matter? So, are you saying I've met her? She's not had an OnlyFans. We're already together, and then she wants to start it. I'm gonna take half. You're gonna be. A, you're gonna pimp her out. I'm a. I'm. A, I'll take half. Why? Well, I'll help her on. What are you gonna do though? I'll take yeah. the photos. You know. That's what? it. Would you edit them? Would you take the photos? Would you film it? Would, Would you, you mark like, it? Or are you gonna market her? I'll, t- I'll take the photos can, occasionally. How are you entitled for half? You Would know, you I'll get her a tripod them? with a timer so that she can oh, do most it, huh? of it. But like occasionally, if I'm not busy, you know, oh, I'll. Yeah. I'll maybe take a few. Are you the ones behind the agency of Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, yes, I actually I have an OnlyFans agency. Check it out. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's um, I, I forgot the name of it. Whatever OnlyFans agency dot net. Okay. Um, so sorry. What was your question? Would I date if? A lot of guys, Jason, do you want to answer this and then I'll, I'll go? You answer first and I'll go ahead. Just I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to be place. honest, I prob- I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's I fair. wouldn't be okay with that. Why? I mean, I get, I get the fast money. It's enticing. But, I, I mean, I, I, I'm just kind of raised traditional. Like, that's fair. Because my, my mother, that's like one thing she always taught me is like, don't go like the fast route. You can, you can be retired in like three years, though, if you invest right. That's true. Mm-hmm. It, it wouldn't necessarily be fast. Like I said, it's enticing. It's enticing. And if she was like 
it's like really hot, it's gonna even be even more enticing. But I, yeah, I, I, I just I <laughs> wouldn't be able to do that. I don't why are you think. working so hard? What working do you mean? So hard? Yeah, like why are you hustling so hard to make money? You're an entrepreneur, so you you didn't take the nine to five. You're taking the route that faster money than the nine to five route. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I would say what I do is way harder than a nine to five. Of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, like we're working twenty four seven, really. Uh-huh. Like some of us only sleep like four or five hours a night. I mean, of course, it's it's, it's not just like the fast money, but it's 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 obviously like there's some kind of like social like ju- like there's judgment, like a stigma, but, yeah, right? stigma, mm-hmm. and like it that kind of is iffy to me. Is yeah. it the stigma that scares you, like being associated with it? I mean, I I care about maintaining like the respect I have from people that I respect, and it's like I I just know like it's not a widely accepted thing in society, so it's just something I would have an issue with, regardless of like how much money is involved. What about if you met a girl and she already had an OnlyFans going? Is it just a it's a no go for you? For a relationship, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, it's gonna be a no-go. Recreational use only. Yeah. Even no, but recreational. Yeah, I, I would just, still. Yeah, just I would have fun. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's a tough one for me. I would take it on a case-by-case basis. I want to say if she's created, if she's, if she's doing solo content. Well, okay, you gave me the, the example you gave me was, you're already seeing the girl. So if I'm already seeing the girl, one, I wouldn't do content with her. I'm not, I wouldn't put myself out like that. Um, no one should do something they're not comfortable with. Well, yeah, of course. Um, I, would, I wouldn't do the content with her. Um, obviously, she'd have to do solo stuff. Would you be okay if she did content with other girls and just strictly girls? No, mm-hmm. probably not. Would you let her kiss a girl? Uh, it's still like STDs, you know, so I feel like... Even with other girls, that's that's a no. Um, I mean, in this industry, it's very like common to get STD tested, especially before because, scene. Yeah. Even on OnlyFans, though. Not even oh, just oh, before no. scene, but like regularly. Because yeah. I feel, I mean, I know like with the more traditional porn industry, that's a thing. But mm. yeah. I feel like um, we have all collaborated with each other, and we have all gotten STD tested, even though it's not for a professional scene. Full panel. Scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Full yes. panel. Mm-hmm. Because like if you go to your doctor and you say I want a thorough STD test, they're probably not going to check for HPV, herpes. A lot of times they don't check for that shit. But I, I mean, I don't know if it's everything. It's everything. Everything. It is everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's, is it, it's still kind of cheap. I mean, a girl, I don't know. Girls <laughs> definitely no go for sure with another dude. Of course. That's a wrap. Of course. For sure. That's your boundary. Um, if I w- let's say, though, I, I was just meeting a girl. If she did solo stuff, I'm, I might get hate on the chat for this. If she did sto- solo stuff, I would date her. I gotcha. But if, if, she did, if she did boy girl stuff, I'm just like, nah, I can't do that. Why aren't you okay with that? Well, I mean, well, first off, if I'm going to pursue someone, like, I want them to be properly single when I'm dealing with them. But if it's only in a professional capacity, isn't she still properly single? Like, if she's only having sex with men, like, on sets or... Nah, she... (laughs) Sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, if, if she's only having sex with men, like, in a professional capacity, like, for scenes or, like, on sets. I mean, sexual fidelity is something that I value in a potential partner. So, like, I don't care if it's in a professional context, if it's in a three or four context. Like, I just, I can't do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that's fair. That is like, fair. Yeah, that's completely that's valid. valid. That I is would, valid. Nah, it's, <laughs> it would be a wrap. So, yeah, if she, if she had previously done or is doing any boy-girl stuff... I can't do it. I couldn't date her. 